Hi everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, I am so hot right now. It's breaking records in Canada as I'm filming this for like hottest days in a very long time. It's now around 38 degrees. You guys always kind of scoff when I say the temperature of our heat waves because I guess it's not as hot as like other places of the world like Europe and many other places, but for us Canadians, this is a lot. Okay, but today we are doing a very exciting video. I saw this on TikTok and I wish I could find the TikTok again, but I didn't favorite it and I didn't save it. I just committed it to memory and scrolled past it, but I'm giving credit to that random TikTok, wherever it is. Someone made a dress on this website. They designed it and then some designers made it come to life, made it a real dress. Does that make sense? Basically, there's a website called lunz.com, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. This is not a sponsored video. I was just very enticed by the TikTok, which I think the TikTok was sponsored, so it'll be interesting to see if it's actually as good as it seemed. But basically, you submit a drawing, a bunch of pictures of inspiration dresses, the colors you're looking for, and you talk with a designer, and then they will create your dress. They'll give you the price. You have to do all your measurements, and you can order. It. So they're currently waiting on my measurements, but I want to show you guys what I have submitted. I've been like trying to design dresses. I've really realized that I cannot, I cannot draw dresses very well, but I tried, okay? It's getting so hot in here, oh my gosh. I'm sticking to my chair, <laughs> okay. Okay, but before we get into that, I just wanna pick the charity for today's video. As you guys probably know by now, we're picking charities in each video for a donation, and these are all charities that you guys have chosen, so. So today we are going to be donating to Doctors Without Borders. Now, I read up on this charity when I saw it in the comments. I had never heard of this charity, but oh my gosh, this charity is amazing. And back to this video. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen with you guys. So this is the Lunds website, custom made dresses online. They also sell just like pre-made dresses, but I of course wanted to try my own. They also have dress sketches that are pre-made that you can order. It's very cool. And like, look at these testimonials, like beautiful dresses. Very excited. I've already submitted mine because I wanted to make sure it would actually work. Okay, so I named this dress for a winter wedding because I actually have a wedding. This is so exciting. I have a wedding to go to next February. It was supposed to be this summer, but because of COVID it got postponed. So I was like, well, if I'm gonna be designing a dress, I should design it for something I have in mind. So that's what I did. Here's my beautiful sketch that I designed. I had some inspiration pictures, which I'll show you guys. Really liked this top. As you can see, I have a collared shirt on right now. I really love the collared shirt and I love dresses with sleeves and I love a T-length. You guys taught me that term, T-length. And then I liked the sweetheart neckline to be under the mesh. So those were the three pictures. I also put them all together in this photo and then the color I was going for, brace yourself, is inspired by this green color. I don't know why I did it. I just thought winter wedding, I should go with maybe a darker color. So kind of different for me. I like the pastels normally. Okay, but the, for the first thing I wrote in is I sent those three pictures and I said, above I gave a rough sketch of the design. I would like T-length, full fluffy skirt, sweetheart, opaque neckline with mesh over top and mesh puffy sleeves. The color swatch I attached is what I'd like, uh, is what, <laughs> can't read, is what I'd like the color to be closest to, and the third picture with the three dresses pasted together should help you better understand my rough sketch. And then I got connected to a designer named Tansy, and she said, thank you for your inquiry. This is Tansy at your service. Rough shape of dress is below. 3D embroidery lace fabric. So basically, they took this picture right here, and they thought I wanted sort of that butterfly look, which makes sense. So they had a fabric for it, but I told them I just wanted it to be a flat fabric. And then they sent me back some colors. So I ended up choosing this color right here, number 43, because I felt like it was closest to the swatch I sent. But there were so many pretty colors on here. Honestly, when I saw this, I was like, should I change it? Like this purple is enticing me. So then I got a price estimate, which is subject to change based on my sizing, which was around $220 US for this custom dress. And then I just have to give in all of these measurements. This is going to be measured basically for my exact body size. Like 
height, bust, under bust, back shoulder width, mid shoulder to bust point, waist, hips, hollow to floor, hollow to hemline, shoe height, arm circumference, arm sky. I don't even know what that means. So I'm gonna do this quickly with my mom and get all my measurements and send it over. And then basically we'll just be waiting for this dress. This process has been super easy. They've been responding super quickly. So I think it'll be really interesting to see the dress we end up with. I'm hopeful that it is what I've imagined in my head and tried to sketch out, but we'll see. Let's go and measure to begin and then we'll send that off. And I don't know how long it'll take, but I'll show you when it's here. Let's go measure. All right, guys, we're downstairs. The basement is a little bit cooler, so we're gonna do the measuring here. Here's everything that we have to get. I have, as you can see, my mom here to help me. Cause some of these, like I have to measure from shoulder blade to shoulder blade, which would just be really difficult. So first things first, height. Hi. Height. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought you were saying hi. <laughs> Bust. Do you want exact? No, I want not exact. <laughs> Under bust. Okay, so shoulder to bust point. Okay. A green collared with mesh and fluffy T-length dress. Um, we'll see how it looks. are you <laughs> So we'll see how it looks. <laughs> we will. <laughs> Mom. I'm like, what is she ordering? Seen. <laughs> All right, well, that was a hot minute. In the intro, I was in my old studio. Now I'm in the new one. And there was honestly like three months, no, longer because the dress production took quite a while. When did this start? Like when, when did we start doing this? Oh my gosh, four months. My guess was right. Okay, it's been four months since we started this custom dress journey. And I'm excited because it's here. So you guys all remember my inquiry, the pictures. Then we went back and forth about the design a little bit. It was actually a really fun process, to be honest. If I could do it over again, I would probably even pick something a little bit more elaborate. So hopefully it still fits well. That's the thing about getting things custom made to your shape is if it fluctuates at all, it might not fit, but fingers are crossed. Okay, so the dress ended up being $229 US, which is a pricey dress, but honestly for a custom dress that I designed from my head, I feel like that's not too bad. But then of course, we will have a better idea if it was worth it once we see the quality. So let's dive in. Okay, so you guys remember, I wanted green, it is green. Oh my, is it inside out? Nice dresses are always sent inside out. That's one thing I found. All right. I mean, the green is pretty. We've got a tag here, Lund's Custom Couture. Wow, lots of fun tool. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Oh my goodness, it is so poofy and fluffy. On the camera, it's kind of coming up like a tealy emerald, but in real life, this is like green green okay and then we have these buttons going up the front oh my gosh what is honestly though what is my design like when i'm thinking about it like this is such a strange dress that i made it's like exactly what i wanted it to be but now having it in my hands it's like a green with like a mesh to a collar very strange choices past Mia. Okay, but right now it just looks like a green blob, so let's throw it on. All right, you guys, here is this dress designed, not made by me, but designed by me. What do you guys think of this dress on? I feel like if we're gonna judge it based on like the details that I had given, is this a legit T-length? Because I know I wanted T-length. This feels in between mid and T-length. It's like a little bit shorter than I was thinking. But then again, knowing me, <laughs> I probably just don't really understand what T-length means and this is probably an honest T-length. You guys, please let me know in the comments. Also, one thing unrelated to the dress being made or anything, but it's a little bit of a tight squeeze. So I think if you're making your own dress, give yourself like an extra inch or so of wiggle room just in case you gain weight like I did, because I gotta admit, getting into this dress 
was kind of difficult. The zipper did not want to go. But I got into it and honestly, now that I'm in it, it doesn't feel too tight. It was just a little bit of a squeeze to get into it. Okay, I love the color. I think the swatches that I was able to choose from did a really good job at showing like what the color would really look like because this is exactly like the swatch I chose. I think based on the design and pictures that I sent, it looks almost the exact the same as the sketch I drew out. Granted, the sketch I drew out did not look like a real life image at all, but if I could imagine it, I think it would look like this. Like I think they interpreted my pictures and all my stuff really well. I love how poofy the skirt is with all of this tool. It spins really cute. See? I hope I'm not flashing anyone. But yeah, so here is what the finished dress looks like. What do you guys think? My picture, the final look. How did they do? I'm really interested to hear what you guys think of the dress, like how it turned out, but I'm also interested to hear what you think of like the design I came up with because I like it, but it's also very random. You know, like I don't really know what I was going for. I think I just really wanted a dress with a collar and I was just really obsessed with green at the moment. So that was the thought processing. Okay, I didn't really get into the quality too much, but you guys, the quality feels great. The mesh is very nice and soft and the fabric all feels very held together well. I think the one thing is these buttons are a little bit cheap feeling. Like I don't wanna be harsh, but when I was pulling them open, I felt like a few of the threads were pulling a bit, which was a little concerning because these buttons sure don't come undone easily. Like they're kind of like those plasticky ones that are a little difficult to do up, but I mean, that's pretty minor. I think they really encompass the picture well. All around, like I'm impressed with Luns, if I'm saying it right. They did good. I think the concept is super fun of being able to design your own dress based off an idea or image that you've seen or dreamt up in your head. I love that. And I think it was a decent price for the dress that we received. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you thought it was fun or you'd like to see something similar in the future, make sure to comment that down below. I always read through the comments and write down a lot of your guys' video suggestions. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.